What's up everyone, it's Ashido, and today we're playing I Want to Pursue the Side Character. Um, it is a visual novel about, obviously, pursuing a side character. That's, that's what I am too, I'm a side character. So, yeah, hopefully this is really good. Doo doo bop boo doo doo doo. Okay, we're gonna start a new game. Oh, girl. Oh no, I lost my handkerchief. That's terrible. Oh, this is a girl's friend. That's terrible. Wasn't that your favorite silk one? Yes, and it was so expensive. I might have to wait a while to get a new one. Beatrice. <gasps> Excuse me. Eep! Miss Claremont! Does this handkerchief belong to you? No! Uh, but I heard you explicitly say- You can keep it, please have it. Uh, I don't want it anymore. Uh, look, this handkerchief is yours, so just take- Eek! Oh no. We have set her. Please don't bully us, we're sorry, we'll never bother you again. Let's go. I watched the two fleeing figures. I had to turn the music down. My and my headphones is like ba -do -ba -da -do -do -da -do. It's really loud, but it like probably in my like rendering of the video, it's not gonna be loud. I can't believe we ran into Miss Claremont. She's as mean looking as they say. At least we didn't do anything like talk to His Highness. I heard she was one girl who actually touched his highness's shoulder, and she had to quit school because her family was forced to move out of the country. <gasps> oh no. How cruel. Of course. What else should I expect? I mean, I didn't really expect to a thank you or anything, but I also didn't enjoy how they reacted when I tried to hand them hand back her item. But what else could I do? Ever since I can remember, people would think, uh, whatever I approached them, that I planned to harm them or something. I wasn't sure if it was because I was taller than them, taller than the average woman, or because my eyes look mean and sharp, or because my hairstyle, which I have tried to straighten, was remnants of the anguish. Uh, oh, sorry, an antagonist of a novel. Even my own name, Beatrice, sounds to add on to the image of being a spiteful person. I don't know what my parents were thinking when they named me that. Now look, I could ask... Uh, 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 not like I could ask, though. I wasn't particularly close to them, either. Which made me a very lonely child. I just butchered that whole line, whatever. Thus, I did my best to try and make friends with other children. Yet, any time I tried to approach children, they would end up crying or wetting their pants from seeing my sharp eyes. Oh my gosh, wetting their pants, that's crazy. Thus, I was never able to be friends since I make friends since I was a child, even though I truly tried, resulting in my somewhat awkward personality. Tired of it all? I had thought if I was going to be treated as a mean, spiteful bully, no matter what I did, I might as well play the part. Quickly became known as Beatrice, the jealous fence of jealous fiance of the prince who would tyrannize anyone who approached him. Though, if I were, if I were truthful, I don't care much for my fiance. And Evadard, my fiance, would never bother to take any interest in me either. Well, that's crazy. But I still put up with that act. Uh, I was positive. Gosh, I'm bad at reading. <laughs> but I still put up the act that I was possessive of him merely for appearance sake. Officially, I did nothing like force a girl and her family to move like those two girls said girl was moved because her father's new business was located in the rural area of our empire. What I mostly did to people was intimidate them a little, or just stare at them with these sharp eyes of mine. 
However, that was enough for the student body as they had begun to spread rumors of me cruelly. Thus, I never had to do much to make people afraid of me. And so, for a good amount of my schooling, I was the infamous Beatrice Claremont. Until... Da, da, da. Lily! Beatrice! And right on cue. This is Lily Abbott. My only friend is a sad, as, as sad as it is to say, Lily, basically the opposite of me. She's well known among the student body for being the low class transfer student who seems to ensure the hearts of several well known male students. Oh, oh no! Including a Grand Knight's son, the Prime Minister's son, and even an illegitimate son of a duke, but he's kind of known as to be flirtatious. Yet she never seems interested in any of them, and despite them always approaching her, she spent her time instead. Beatrix, there you are. I was looking for you so we could have lunch together with me. The Hanuis, what? Beatrice Claremont. Oh, you don't have to speak to me, or you don't have to seek out. Oh my gosh, am I just dyslexic today? That's, an, that's always, I am. Huh, you didn't have to seek me out. I'm sure I would have gone back to the cafeteria at some point. There I go again. Unable to speak my feelings instead of saying sorry or even thank you, I just speak harsh words. Only one of the results from my lack of social communication. True, but I wanted to see you as soon as possible. There she goes, saying such embarrassing words again. But I'm unable to speak about my feelings. At least seems to have no filter. Besides the lunch is just some weird European food again, so it's like not so it's not like I am that excited to eat. I mean, doesn't this world have some normal food? We'd love to have a burger again. <gasps> what what'd you say? What are we doing here? You were reincarnated or something? But what was that? Oh nothing. By the way, what's with the handkerchief? Oh, this belongs to some student. I was trying to return it, but... In your face, she probably guessed what happened. Want me to go cast a curse on them? Lily! Don't even joke about that. You know the usage of dark magic is forbidden by the royal family. If you're caught, you could face execution or worse. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. I wasn't that serious anyway. Why does magic even exist here if we can't even use it? If we want to. Anyway, why not keep the handkerchief then? She didn't take it when she had the chance, so it's finders keepers now. I rather not. She said this was important to her. And she might regret not taking it so... You're so sweet, Beatrice. What? what? How about we take it to the lost and found before we grab lunch? The girls might grab it from there later. I, I suppose, yeah. That would be the right course of action. Let's go then. Wait, don't rush me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, complete polar opposites right there. And we both return the handkerchief to Lost and Found. Despite how I may act, I truly am grateful for Evelyn Lily as a friend, as she seems to make up for some of the deficiencies I have. She would get upset at me if I said that out loud, though. Lily would consider what Lily would constantly tell me not to bring myself down, while also showing me in praise and compliments as you saw earlier i don't know how she can always find a th things to say about me as i never saw these traits in myself before yet still rather than seeing me as 
this stable as the other students do. She is the only one doesn't see me that way. Rather, she seems to see me as lovable. I'm not sure how someone such as me was lucky enough to have a friend like her, but even since we didn't become friends, she has since... Yeah, yeah, you get it. <laughs> she had stuck by my side and seemed to be the only person who could tolerate me. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> I'm harsh, mean-looking, and antisocial. And she's so small and cute, sweet, and overall sincere. Anyone would rather wonder how two drastically different people such as us became friends, correct? I I'm wondering. Well, it started... Thank you. She's gonna tell us. Well, it started around the beginning of the school year when I was still putting on my little persona. You there, commoner! <laughs> oh, oh. That's how I imagine her laughing. <laughs> Me? Okay, this is before, so they're a little different. Who else would I be talking to? Does anyone else here reek of the scent of labor? The other students laughed at this. Lily, at the time, was a new student to the academy. Furthermore, she is the only student to come from lower class. Peasant. She's a peasant. <laughs> Spit. She was accepted too to the fact that she has been adopted by a baron recently and now attends the academy, which is filled with other wealthy and upper class students. Despite me being the only one confronting her, I was not the only student who found her presence irksome, so seeing me belittle the tiny girl was a treat for most of the student body. Yet, who knew what that Lily confrontation led to? Wait, that hair, those eyes, that pose, are you Beatrix Claremont? I, uh, yes I am? Oh my god, it's really you. Oh, she's in love. You you know of me? Of course I do. I played every route in Magical Academy Love Life in order to just even catch glimpses of you. <gasps> she got transported to a video game world. Let's go. I even know all your official, I even have all your official merchandise. Well, I mean, I, I did, I mean. Till that stupid truck hit me. Truck coon. Truck coon. He strikes again. Magical cat merchant truck. But wow, you're even more beautiful in person. Beautiful? Yeah. Even so that <laughs> even more so than you your sprite. Oh, but I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lily Abbott. It's nice to meet you. Oh, um, nice to meet you too. What? That's not why I approached you. Huh? Why did you approach me then? Huh? I saw you and the prince walking together to class. Tell me, as I am the fiance of the prince, what your relationship with him is. We don't have a relationship. He bumped into me and made me drop my books. Then he made some big deal out of it and told me he would carry them for me to my next class, which I refused. Yet still, even though I kept telling him no, he carried them anyway, making a bigger thing out of it than it was. Honestly, it was kind of troublesome. Even that scene always irked me, but more so in real life. What? As if someone as great as the prince would carry some commoner's filthy books to class. I'm not lying. And honestly, I wasn't about the whole thing either. Though, I couldn't do anything about it, so there's anything else I can do for you? Fine, since you ask. I don't want you to ever come near the prince ever again. Done. Uh, huh? Done so. Deal. I agree. I'm never gonna approach the prince. Won't even look at him. Hey, I'll be happy if he does the same for me. Ah, uh, you agreed pretty quickly. Of course I agreed. If it means you'll stop being upset with me, I'll gladly avoid the prince. I, uh, 
I see. Of course. Uh, it's good that you understand your situation, then. <laughs> That's how she's laughing right now. I'm happy to have hear that you agreed so easily. <laughs> and I'm happy that you're happy. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think you look so much more lovely than you are happy, Miss Beatrix. Ah, uh, you think I'm lovely? Your golden flexing hair, your sky blue eyes, the elegant way you hold yourself. How can I not think you're lovely? Rather than being approached by the prince, I am much happier being approached by you. I, I, I elegant. So how about this? In exchange for never seeing the prince again, I get to see you more often. So I could. So if I could, may I please get to know you better by starting off as friends? I'd be eternally grateful if someone as beautiful as you. Okay, fine. Just please shut up. So that's a yes. The yes. I'm so happy to hear that. My first friend. Hmm. Say something? Uh, <clears throat> nothing. I said nothing. Your ill-bred ears are probably just too full of dirt to hear anything. Either way, I look forward to getting to know you better. I... Like, likewise. Though I'm not doing this so you have any time to spend with the prince. That's fine by me. How about we walk to our next class together? If you would like. Of course. Any chance to spend time with you would make me happy. And thus, that is how we became friends. So cringe at the way I acted before. Honestly, I was... It was pretty awful. And I would love to say my behavior changed drastically after we became friends, but that would be a lie. Though, thanks to Lily's patience and effort on my part, we have gone to the point where our friendship, where I no longer call her commoner and also stop hurling insults at her. Yet Lily has never stopped speaking of her Adam, Adam, uh, yeah. Of my features, which I suppose motivated me to try and change a bit so I could meet her expectations. And so I stopped my horrible ways and tried to become the person that she saw as, uh, saw me as by trying to help others and working harder to make more friends. So there hasn't been much success, but at least Lily has ways there, has always been there to comfort me when things never went my way and so here we are now school lunch is delicious isn't it Beatrix hmm yes it's quite good I suppose even the bread is soft and fluffy yes I do agree we should feed each other I think so as what wait why would I ever do such a thing? Especially in public. Boo. I tried. Really? Just then I see that Lily dug into her bag and takes out a textbook. Isn't that textbook for our arcane class? Are you going to study? Ah, uh, yeah. They didn't really teach magic where I was from. Though that's because magic doesn't didn't exist. So I need to study to catch up to the rest of you guys. But study magic is in this world is way different than the video game. All I had to do was mash some buttons, but here I actually had to do reading and stuff. Video game. Ah, never mind. Don't worry about it. Let me see. Oh, okay. As Lily hands me her text where I glance over the materials she is studying. 
This material, we've gone over this weeks ago. She's still on this? This way, she might not catch up to the, for the upcoming test. Let me help you study. Are you sure? I don't want you to waste your lunch time helping me. It was my decision to help you, wasn't it? Are you questioning it? Ah, no. Good. Then let's start reviewing together. Besides, we are friends. We should help each other out. I think five years were added to my life. What did you say? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. Right. Well, let's go over these spells right here you'll need for next week's test. We are studying magic. Whoa! I can't believe I was able to catch up that fast. So smart, Big Tricks. I, I'm not that smart. I merely studied. That's all. The benefits of having only one friend. Most of my free time was spent studying. But I'm glad that I was of some assistance to you. You were more than just some assistance. I really appreciate it, Beatrix. I'm so grateful to have you as a friend. You... Grateful? Shouldn't it be the other way around? I mean, she has to tolerate me? Yeah, I mean... When I first came here, most of the other students ignored me since I wasn't of noble blood like them. Only you would reply to me whatsoever whenever I talk to you. If I didn't have you, I would probably have no one else to sit down and eat lunch with like this, or help me with studying. That's why I'm so appreciative of the fact we're friends. Oh my gosh. I want to cry. It was as if I, I, she read my heart and spoke it aloud. Yet it wasn't my heart that was she was reading aloud, but hers. I never knew someone could feel such joy in finding out that the feelings they had been scared to share were actually reciprocated. Yeah. Yet it is unfair that only she has to has the courage to be honest. I want that courage. I want. Tell her how I truly feel. I... Hmm? I'm glad we're friends too. Holy crap. Why can't audio reading exist in this world yet? What? It's nothing. I uh, think my heart just stopped for a moment. What? Are you okay? Are you sick? Eep. Here, let me check your temperature. Possibly have a fever? But, Beatrice, soft hand touching my face? I can die happy now. Don't die, please, Lily. You must live. If you die, then I won't have friends anymore. I was so worried about Lily. I didn't realize... How close we were. Oh. Uh oh. No, for, I didn't know for how long, but we were staring at each other's eyes. Never realized how round and bright Lulu's eyes were, or how silky her hair was. Not to mention how soft looking her skin is. Suddenly, I felt a s sudden warmth of flutter feeling in my stomach whenever I was with, with Lily I was happy as her mere presence made me feel comfortable and pleasant yet the feeling I'm feeling now as I stare into her eyes is new and something I've never felt before what is this feeling what's going on here broken from my trance I looked over to see the source of the voice oh who are you the prince and see my fiance, the Prince Edward. Edward. 
Your Highness! <gasps> oh no. Edvard might think I'm having an affair or something. He might get upset at Lily and punish her. I have to clear the air so he doesn't get upset and more importantly protect Lily. I asked, what was going on here? Your Highness, it's not what you think. It's my fault, Lily. Your fault? Of course. I should have expected nothing less. What? I guess see what you were doing. I'm not blind. Your Highness, I'm so sorry. But please, do not punish Lily. Punish her? Why would I punish a student? You were tormenting. <gasps> Edward, get out of here. You ruined the mood. Huh? You were bullying and the poor transfer student, weren't you? No, I wasn't. We were... Lady Claremont, I have tolerated your unruly behavior for a while now, but I will no longer stand for you to harm the new transfer student who obviously cannot defend themselves. This is unbecoming even for you. It wasn't as if I was used to people thinking of me in such a way. I didn't expect any less from my fiance, who never once tried to get to know me. Our engagement was decided upon by our parents, so there was no love between us. I'm not surprised at his perception about me aligning with the rest of the student body, even though I have been trying hard to change it. At one point, I did hope maybe at least the man I would spend the rest of my life with was someone who could truly understand me, see me. But all hopes were dashed when I realized that Edward's only interest was in the personality of the kingdom and he couldn't care any less about me. Maybe that's why I acted out before. Upset that there was no one in the world I could rely on. I could be myself with who would really see it the real me. Well, this is this time's different. This time I had someone who was on my side. I had Lily. Yet, that's not true. I thought that things were different, but nothing has changed. All it ever has been cruel, horrible, villainous. <gasps> villainous. Oh no, I'm not the villainous. You're wrong! Huh? She wasn't bullying me. She was helping me earlier with my studies, actually. Uh, Miss Lily, you don't have to make up lies for her. I'm not. And I would appreciate it if you stopped talking shit about her. Get him, sis. Sh shit? Also... Who are you talking about unbecoming? Your root is usually just of you looking down on others because you're a prince. Not to mention, you're pushy, bossy, never listen to others, and just plain rude. Since, since for some random guys with sadistic dominant personalities are supposed to be appealing, though I don't see the charm. In addition, your bad ending. You look up the heroine. You lock up the heroine in the cage like some creep after she almost forces to. Uh, she's almost forced to leave the academy. Really? Look at his face. What same person would do that? What? I I would ne never. Beatrix, on the other hand, is the most warm-hearted person I know. She always tries to help. Like, returning people's things or cleaning up the classroom for the teachers. She never ignores me, unlike the other students, always responds to me. She's patient when the teachers, when she teaches me even though I mess up and get confused. She gives me her dessert for lunch even though I secretly, she secretly knows she loves sweets a lot. Additionally, because I don't have much money, she bought me three sets of new uniforms. Also, my textbooks, which she says she were hand-me-downs, but obviously were new. Uh, how did you know that? Beatrice is the most gentle and selfish person I know. 
So, I don't want to hear any someone like you talk shit about her. Especially from someone who didn't even place in the top three for the character's popularity poll. Ugh, got him. Character popularity poll? Come on, Beatrice. Let's go. Uh, okay. Edward, get out of here. Not even top three? Right, you're not popular enough, Edward. I don't think I've seen Edward look so stricken. Lily? Beatrix? Please break your engagement with the prince. What? I admit, the prince may be handsome and stuff. But he's still a Yandere. Oh, <gasps> Got him. Got him. And I don't like how he talked bad about you. Want to be happy with someone and they treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Really? Beatrix, I... I love you. Oh. I love the way you sometimes seem harsh but are actually very sensitive to what others say and act. I love how you seem to don't care but actually care a lot. I love how particularly kind you are, how you're so smart and hardworking. I love your deep blue eyes, your long hair that reminds me of the sun. Even your graceful figure always leaves me speechless. I won't ask you to return my feelings, but I just want to let you know. I want to let you know them. To be honest, I would be happy being friends with you for the rest of my life if that's what you want. No, I don't want that. If you also would like some space, then I would understand. I don't want that either. What do you want? It was obvious what I wanted. Since I met Lily, I never spent any moments alone. I no longer dreaded going to every class where I would never where I would have no one to talk to. I no longer ate my lunch quietly in the large courtyard by myself lones my lonesome self. I no longer studied silently to fill the free time I had from not having anyone to spend it with. And that's because of Lily. Because of Lily? I changed I stopped being the hurtful, mean person I used to be before. Because of Lily, I no longer want waited quietly for class to begin because she would spend time with me before the teachers came. Because of Lily, my lunch was no longer quiet but filled with laughter and chatter. Because of Lily, my once dull and monticuous life was bright and wonderful. All those times I spent with Lily were the happiest moments of my life. I never wanted a life without Lily by my side, so the obvious answer was... I want to be with you. Lily, I'm in love with you. She said it back. You are? It took me a while to realize it fact that I always wanted to be by your side, how being with you makes me feel both comfortable yet nervous, and how everything you do always brings a smile to my face. In summary, Lily Abbott, I am in love with you. Woo! Yeah! You don't need to be so loud. I can't help it. So happy. Does that make us lovers then? Well, I suppose, but I still have to break my engagement off. That's fine. I'll wait. I'll wait forever for you. Same. Beatrix, I promise you that I'll do my absolute best to make you happy. You don't really have to. 
Nah, uh, uh Just you watch, Beatrice Claremont. I'll make you the happiest woman in the world. Then I guess I can't stop you. Nope. You can't. You can't. Like, you can't stop me from doing this. What? Hehe. <laughs> I always wanted to carry you like this. She is strong. I uh, put me down this instant. How are you doing this? I'm taller than you and heavier. I just casted a stream spell you taught me earlier. Oh, God, yeah. Ah, I forgot I taught you that earlier. Dads, you're telling me you don't enjoy this little Beatrix? I mean, you read those cheesy romance novels all the time, and I know they do this in them. <gasps> you knew about that? Now that I recall, you knew a lot of embarrassing things about me earlier as well. So maybe I shouldn't be surprised? It's nice to have someone who knows you well, huh? Well, I suppose it's better than being misunderstood. Glad to hear, because I won't stop trying to learn more about you. Because every new thing I learn about you makes me fall for you more. Shh. Only someone like you could be so shameless to say something like that. Though I suppose that's what made me fall for you. I didn't quite hear that. Could you say it again for me, please? You... Fine. I'll say it once more. So make sure to listen this time. If this was a novel, such a happy ending would never be possible with someone like me. But I guess that's why I suppose I should be glad this isn't a novel. This is all real. Just as the pure joy I'm feeling. I love you, Lily. I love you too, Beatrix. Thank you. Thank you to whoever allowed Lily to enter my life. I know that from now on, uh, both of us will make each other happy. So thank you for listening to my prayers and bringing me Lily. I'll make sure to spend the rest of my life bringing her as much joy as, as she brought me. I promise. Wow, I suppose this would be the confession scene, hmm. Around this point, the game would end, but I'm grateful it doesn't end here. What? Moreover, since I'm actually in the game, I don't know how to worry about any PG-13 plus rating any longer. Hee <laughs> hee hee. What are you talking about, dear? Oh, nothing, my love. I forgot to mention. Lily sometimes mentions weird things in places I've never heard of, such as Japan or Rotame game, among other things. I'm not sure where she learned such words or what those things are, but maybe I'll ask her in the future to find out. Okay. Alrighty. Okie dokie. Okay, uh, that was I want to pursue the mean side character. It was, it was really cute. That was a cute game. I liked it. I, I like, you know, cheesy kind of stories like that. So if you enjoyed it too, let me you know any other like visual novels out there you want to see me play or ones that you haven't played yourself, and I will play them because I love visual novels. But yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Um, again, if you like this, make sure to show me some love, give me some likes, some subs? Question mark? You don't have to. But yeah, that's gonna do it for me. It's Ashido. Peace out. Bye bye.